It's about 8.30 in the morning on Saturday, June 10th, 2023. I gave them one section, so they're in the third section today. <coughs> That'll force me to come back in the evening. <laughs> That'll force me to come back in the evening and move them again. <coughs> the puppies are in the field with the, do with the uh, sheep. They came up to meet me at the gate and they followed me to feed the dogs. I gave them a little treat back there. Then they decided that they would like to be here with the sheep. Which is good, because I need sheep dogs. I'm standing right now on the line where the, 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 the wire was, and I can't see a difference between right and left. So there's way more land and way more grass than the cows can eat. And it doesn't even look like they're having much of an impact on the soil. Um, the ducks, when I came out, the ducks were at the pond. I think they just kind of stayed away from the cows. They weren't too excited about the cows. Um, let me show you what I got in this pasture. Oh, by the way, it's probably like 72 or 74 degrees, something like that. And, uh, very humid. I, I, I feel slightly cool, but I'm sweating because it's so humid. Um, I didn't check for precipitation. We could have gotten some rain last night. I saw some lightning and thunder. Um, you see there's some grasshoppers. Little tiny baby ones. So, this is kind of the story of this field. You see that young summer grass there. And the spring grass is all dead. And then there's a bunch of weeds. You know. Here, the dog was standing on the other dog. He wanted some, some of the limelight. Yeah, here's some goat weed growing. I can't see any dirt anywhere. Oh, there's some flowers. <laughs> the sheep wants some snacks. There's some kind of black, I don't know what that is. Anyway, um, the cows seem fat and happy. We're not quite to the hot part. It's gonna get hot soon, next week. It's gonna get nearly 100, if not over 100. And combined with high humidity, that's pretty stressful for the cows. So I'll have to make sure they get plenty of shade. They do have shade in this area. There's a tree there they can access if they need to. Look at that, the dogs are making friends. Yeah, I want the dogs to be here with the cows. And then hopefully with some kids' help, I'll be able to pin up the older dogs near the sheep, near the chickens. I haven't checked the chickens yet. We're going counterclockwise. Check them soon. See if there's another dead bird or what's going on over there. The dogs were there when I came up there near the gate, so maybe the dog scared off whatever was eating the birds. So there's hope. You got some nice horns growing there, number 18 some pretty eyelashes <laughs> of course that's not what you want to hear as a bull so uh, the bare ground you get these little piles of stuff and I'm not exactly sure what causes it I'm gonna say it's worm casings uh, just because I don't know any better but it's like all over the place so yeah this is a pretty good spot of ground there's a lot of weeds though, but um, plenty of grass, more grass than my cows can eat. I was thinking of putting the cows in the neighbor's back 20 and I think I probably should. When I get there, I'll look at it, and see what it looks like. But I may do that on June 14th, rather than start a new rotation. Just kind of have like an intercalary <laughs> rotation where I just stick them out there for a while maybe a week maybe half a week I'll just stick them out there max a week um, but if they eat the grass quickly then I'll bring them out the goal is to give this uh, summer grass a little chance a little head start um, I don't think that they're eating enough to, to cause a difference but I think that what they are eating is stunting the growth of the grass because it's not quite as tall as I want it. I mean, it is probably over a foot tall in most of the places. Hopefully the wind noise isn't bothering you guys. I didn't put a lapel mic on. So, fly count, I'd say moderate. It can get worse. Um, this isn't too bad. It can get a lot worse. 
So in the heat of the day, the, the flies migrate to the belly of the cow to stay in the shade. It's pretty funny. They don't like the cold and they don't like the heat. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off here. Have a great day. Bye-bye.